Is the Force strong with Truff's Dark Side Hot Sauce? Tune in to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Hot Sauce. I am Eric. On this channel, we're dedicated to all things hot sauce, beer, beverages, and general food, I would say. And normally we do sauce reviews on Sundays, ergo Saucy Sunday, but we're doing something a little special today. As you can see right here, I have a very special box. This box is Truff Hot Sauce, but it's not just any regular Truff Hot Sauce. As you can see on the label, it says Star Wars Dark Side Hot Sauce. So this is a special collaboration sauce between Truff Hot Sauce and Lucasfilm Limited, who makes Star Wars, of course. When they made this announcement, I was like, ooh, color me intrigued being a Star Wars fan myself. So I immediately did a pre-order. Crazy enough, this arrived on May the 4th, and I'm filming this currently on Revenge of the 5th, and hopefully this is released by Revenge of the 6th. So, quick turnaround. But I really wanted to get this video out to you guys while it was prime Star Wars weekend. So, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. You know, this box is really beautiful, and it's a shame to unbox it, but I think the real beauty is the bottle that's inside. So, we're gonna unbox it and find out what the deal is. Shout out my buddy Ed for the beautiful knife also. Okay, there's a tear right there. And yeah, this is a really nice box. Like, whether or not I keep the uh, whole sauce, like the box itself is just beautiful. So I love the black and red emblems for the dark side with, you know, all the red text, the red imperial symbol on the sides. Let's give this an open. It is a nice box. I like the magnetize open the way it does. And we are introduced to foam. Ooh. And there we have it. Darth Vader in a bottle. And that's all you get in this box, it looks like, is just the bottle itself, which is a very nice bottle. Ooh. I can smell black paint. Like, it smells very uh, freshly painted, ironically. But let's take this bad boy out of here. And yeah, there's our bottle. Very nice. Yeah, this is a really fun collectible. I'm not sure if this is just a painted trough bottle. Kind of smells like that in a way. <laughs> but it's still really nice. Like the black and red accents really complement themselves. And then it's cool to have a Darth Vader helmet as the cap. But let's set the box aside for a moment. So yeah, Truff Dark Side Hot Sauce. I'm wondering if this is gonna be any different of a sauce from regular Truff Hot Sauce, which we reviewed Truff sauces in the past and we generally always enjoy Truff Hot Sauce. But uh, let's see what the uh, deal is with this particular Truff Hot Sauce. So Star Wars Truff Ghost Pepper, okay. So this is different because it's using ghost pepper. I don't know if that's actual pepper, if that's like pepper powder, but ghost pepper is involved in this sauce, so. Sensing a disturbance in the forest on that one for sure. And so the ingredients on the side here say truff chili blend, which is red chili peppers, water, vinegar, organic sugar, garlic, salt, black truffle, olive oil infused with black truffle, organic agave nectar, lycopene and glycerin, spices, ghost pepper powder, and xanthan gum. So most of those sound like typical ingredients that uh, you'd read on something of the original truff. But the big difference is the use of ghost pepper powder. So it says, Dark Side Hot Sauce, a mix inspired by the Sith. Fiery ghost peppers blended with black winter truffle. Shake well before each use, refrigerate after opening, no preservatives. This is made in California and is in partnership with Lucasfilm Limited. Very cool. So now that I know it's ghost pepper, I'm expecting this to be a bit hot, a bit on the hotter side. But let's give it a quick open and see how hot it actually is. Whoa. Ooh, you could smell that from here. I didn't even have to put it to the nose necessarily, but let's take a smell. Mm-hmm. You can really smell those truffles. I'm not getting too much of a sense of ghost pepper necessarily, but it definitely smells like truff hot sauce. Maybe I'm smelling like a little bit more of a kick, but not necessarily like punching my nostrils of ghost pepper, but it's definitely like a bit of a stronger version of truff for sure. Let us pour one out. It's a very bright orange color. It reminds me of tomato soup, actually. So, let's see if the force is strong with this one. I sense a disturbance in the force. So to say. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. 
It's definitely the hottest of Truff hot sauces that I've ever experienced, even compared to their hotter sauce. I think this one takes the cake for the use of ghost pepper. Mm, excuse me. Uh-oh. The spice is strong with this one. But yeah, it's very thick, very creamy, but it's delicious. Very hot. I would say this is probably like a 6 to 6.5. It's definitely on the hotter end. Not like the hottest thing you'll ever have. Like again, my scale on this show is always comparing it to something like the bomb or the last dab. Those are always like in well beyond the 7, like 8 level. This, this is like a 6. This is really a 6. And it's starting to go down now, so it elevates and it is hot, but it doesn't last as long as you think. But the flavor in there also just really gets you through it. Like it's a really nice flavor with the truffles. So yeah, all in all, I would say the force is very strong with uh, this hot sauce. It's really good. Uh, foods I see it on, wings of course, make a nice buffalo wing sauce. I can actually see it on pasta a little bit. Like Truff does make their own pasta sauce, which we've reviewed before. But this in general, if you really want to spice up your pasta, this is a good option for sure. Uh, you know, chicken, pork even. I'd say a little bit more on chicken dishes than anything else. I don't really see it on red meat though. I think it's too thick for that. French fries would probably be a good option. Spicy alternative to ketchup. But yeah, I will say this sauce, impressive. Most impressive. Truthfully, even if the sauce wasn't as good as you think, I'd say just as a Star Wars fan, just having a collector's item like this of a Darth Vader hot sauce bottle, it's just all fun, you know? Like, it's a fun collector's item. If you haven't picked one up yet, they should still be available online on their website or the IGN store. That's actually where I got this particular bottle from. I pre-ordered it on IGN's website. And they are a little pricey, admittedly. They're $40 a bottle, but it is a collector's item, of course, and Truff is expensive in general. Generally, those bottles are gonna range from the $20 range, but they are pretty good sauces, I will say. And in terms of this being a collector's item, if you're a Star Wars fan, I generally say it's a fun pickup. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This is what we do on the regular, and we're trying to do more sauce reviews beyond just Saucy Sunday. So when this is released, it's Revenge of the Six, which is a Monday, and we're thinking of releasing sauce videos, not necessarily just on Sunday, but when we get around to it, it will just come out. Let us know what you think of that if you want more frequent sauce reviews beyond once a week. But also check out our previous sauce reviews, all great videos, as well as Brian's Beverage Corner, which is all beer reviews for those who are of legal age, of course. And that'll be it for today, everyone. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful Star Wars weekend, and may the Force be with you. Bye, guys.